Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to understand some of the formulas as well as units of some physical quantities. So these are the physical quantities that we are going to understand, which will be helpful for us uh, in chemistry. So basically, there are two types of physical quantities. One is scalar quantities. Another is vector quantities. So what is scalar quantities? These are the physical quantities that depend only on the magnitude. Magnitude means the absolute value of that particular physical quantity and it does not depend on the direction. Whereas vector quantities are those physical quantities which depends on both magnitude means the value as well as on the direction. So these are some of the examples of scalar quantities and vector quantities. So let us first try to understand the dis difference between distance and displacement. Suppose a person starts moving from point A and it reaches point B and it travels let's say this semicircular path. So this exact di distance that this exact distance that it has traveled this is nothing but called as distance whereas if we see the position of person it has changed from point a to point b so this change in position is nothing but called as displacement so to understand the concept of distance and displacement in a much better manner we can consider uh, or we can compare it with the state function and path function that we study in thermodynamics. Now what is the path function? Path function is nothing but those properties, uh, properties which depend on the exact path that is followed that is nothing but called as path function. So here we can imagine distance as nothing but the path function that it depends on the overall path that is followed. Whereas what, a, what is a state function? State function is nothing but properties, those properties which depend only on the initial and final states. So here we can assume displacement as a state function. So distance is nothing but a scalar quantity. It does not depend on the direction. Whereas displacement is a vector quantity. It depends on the direction. And what is the unit of both dis distance and displacement? It can be any unit of length. It can be meter, it can be kilometer, it can be centimeter, it can be any unit. So it is nothing but unit of length. That is nothing but the unit of both distance as well as displacement. Now let us try to understand uh, another physical quantity that is speed and velocity. So what is the difference between speed and velocity? So let us first see the formula of both of this. Speed is nothing but distance traveled per unit time. So what is the unit of distance? It is length, let's say meter and time is nothing but second. It can be any unit of time. And if we see velocity, velocity is nothing but displacement upon time. Again, the units of displacement and time is same. So what is the unit of speed? It is nothing but meter per second or any unit of distance divided by unit of time. So what is the difference between distance and velocity? speed and velocity is speed is nothing but a scalar quantity. It does not depend on the, uh, on the direction whereas velocity is nothing but a vector quantity. It depends on magnitude as well as direction. So now let us see the next one. 
that is acceleration. So what is acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but it is velocity per unit time. Per unit time. This is the formula for acceleration. Now let us see the units. Unit of velocity is meter per second and time unit let's say it is second. So what will be the overall unit? Meter second inverse. This second raised to 1 goes in the numerator and it becomes second raised to minus 1. So the overall unit of acceleration is meter second raised to minus 2 or you can write this as meter per second square. So this is a very very important unit that we must remember and understand. Now let us see what is force. So force is nothing but mass into acceleration. What is the unit of mass? Let's say kg. SI unit of mass is kg into acceleration. We saw just now it is meter per second square. So what is the unit of force? It is nothing but kg meter per second square. And what is the SI unit of force? It is nothing but Newton. And it is denoted by or represented by capital N. So this is another very very important unit that we have to remember. So let us see the next one. So what is work or energy? It is nothing but the ability or capacity to do work. Ability or capacity to do work. What does this mean is greater the amount of energy, greater the amount of energy, more work that we can do, more work can be performed if we have more energy. So what is the formula for work is nothing but force into displacement. What is the unit of force? We saw just now it is kg meter per second square into what is the unit of displacement? It is nothing but unit of length that is meter. So what is the unit of work is nothing but kg meter raised to 2 second raised to minus 2. And what is the SI unit of work? It is nothing but this is another very important unit that we have to remember and what is the SI unit of work? It is nothing but joules and it is represented by capital J. So this is another very important unit that we have to remember that is work or energy. Let us see the next and the last unit that is pressure. So let us see what is pressure. Pressure is nothing but force applied per unit area. Now what is the unit of force? We saw just now it is kg meter per second square divided by area. What is area? Area is nothing but length square. So length unit of length is meter. So we can write it as meter square. So kg meter second raised to minus 2, this meter raised to 2 goes to the numerator and it becomes meter raised to minus 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So what is the unit of pressure? It is nothing but kg meter raised to minus 1 second raised to minus 2. So this is another very very important unit that will be helpful to us in gaseous state. Pressure. So SI unit of pressure is nothing but of pressure is nothing but Pascal. 
which is denoted by PA. What is the unit of force? It is Newton and this is meter square. So another unit of pressure we can say is Newton per meter square. So here we come to the end of today's video. So recently the results of GATE, NET as well as IIT JAM exam are uh, announced. So for those students who have, uh, who have cleared the exam with good rank and mark, very, very congratulations to everyone. And for those who, because of some reasons, could not uh, clear the exam, maybe uh, it was because of incomplete uh, syllabus completion or some calculation mistakes or mistakes in unit conversions or you did not read the chapters that and the questions were asked from those chapters or there was time shortage. So make sure you take a piece of paper and write down all the mistakes that you have done or not purposely but it happened. So just write down on a piece of paper all the mistakes and try to improve on that and try much more harder for the next attempt and I'm very sure that you will be able to clear the exam with very good rank and marks. All the very best. Thank you so much.